I think there's a lot of history here. I think you have to respect the history. And then, you know, how do you make the game better? Uh, so we want to look for ideas, but I think the most important thing is to really listen to the fans. And I'm talking about Fulham fans. And listen to the football. Uh, have you set yourself up a base in, the, in West London? Have you, have you a home around here? I, I will. Uh, and uh, but I think you know to me the most important thing about West London is we want to do the Riverside stand. So uh, and that is right now the plans are to have residences and that also so for apartments. You do know it's not always going to be this nice and sunny, don't you, down here? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, Mr. Alfie had told me it's like this every day. So you're saying it's not like this? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I know myself, I did, as Jess did about sort of the Michael Jackson statue, but yeah. he's saying he's given you information to, to pass on. But uh, has he given you any guidelines or any tips of, of how he thinks you should carry on his legacy? Uh, I think, uh, you know, he has an incredible legacy here. I think uh, if you're a Fulham fan, you understand that, how important that is, what the man did really for this club. So, uh, you know, I have a huge amount of respect for that, and, uh, you know, it's history. I think we have to respect it, and, but yet we have to move forward. With what that sort of owner are you going to be? Will you be on Twitter? Will you be interacting with fans, or will you be more of a quiet owner? Uh, I haven't, uh, I'm not a Twitter user, so <laughs> I think you have to draw the line someplace on connectivity, but, uh, you know, social media is very, very important, and I think as a club we have to use it and absolutely connect with the fans in many other ways.